So guys, for the first step, you wanna head over to search and type in services, click on it. And then once you're on this, you wanna click on any service one time and then click on R on your keyboard. Now you wanna find remote procedure call. You wanna double click on this, make the startup type automatic. So you click right here and then change it to automatic and make sure that the service status is running. So click on start, which will then make the service status running and then click on okay. And now you want to repeat that for the one under it, remote procedure call locator. You wanna double click on this, startup type, automatic, and then click on start, which will then make the service status running and then click on okay. And now for the next step, you wanna head over to search again and type in registry editor. Click on it and then click on yes. And then once you're on this, you can follow everything I'll be doing up here. So first you wanna expand HC current user and then you want to expand software and then you want to expand classes and then you want to scroll down and expand local settings. We're going to scroll down until we find local settings. You want to expand that. And now you want to expand software and now you want to expand Microsoft and now you want to expand Windows and now you want to expand current version and now you want to expand app container and now you want to expand storage. And now this will come up. And now once you expand storage, you want to find the folder that I'm leaving on screen right now. So you should want to scroll through this until you find this folder. If you do not see it, that's fine. But it's most likely, if you just scroll down to the very bottom, it's going to be around here. So if you do have it, then you want to click on that folder. For me, I do not have it, so I need to create it. It looks like this, the CW5N, but it's not this. So do not get mistaken for this. Make sure that it's winstore underscore CW5N is going to be on screen. So if you do not have it like me, you want to scroll back up. And then you want to find storage. You want to right click on it and then click on new and then click on key. And now this folder will appear. Now you want to rename this folder to what is going to be on screen right now. I'm going to leave it down below in the description. You can just copy and paste it. So I have it in my notepad right here. I'm just going to copy this. Go back to this. Right click on the folder and then click on rename and then paste in this. Click on enter. Now I have the folder right here. Okay, now once you have the folder, we can just close out of this. You could keep all this the same, you don't need to change anything here. So just close out of this. And now for the next step, you wanna head over to the website, which will be down below in the description. That's called helgecline.com. Now once you're on this, you wanna scroll down until you find set ACL. You want to download the administrator's one. This one right here, the EXC version for 32 bit and 64 bit. Download this one. And then click on I agree. Now it's downloading. And then once you have it downloaded, you just want to right click on it and then click on show in folder. Now we're in our downloads folder. So now once you have this, you just want to right click on it and then click on extract all. You want to untick this and then click on extract. You could also use WinRAR or 7-zip if you want to, but I'm just using the default Windows one. So now we're going to have this. So now once you're in here, you're going to have either 64-bit or 32-bit. To know which one you need, you want to head over to search and type in system information, click on it. And the next system type is going to tell you. So I'm using 64 bit, so I'm going to be using a 64 bit one. For you, it's going to see either 32 or 86, if it says that, then you want to go over the 32 bit folder. But again, for me, I'm using 64 bit, so I'm going to be going with 64. I'm going to click on this folder. Now we're going to have this right here. And then once you find this file, you want to right click on it and then click on copy. You just want to copy, you do not want to run it, so just copy it. And now we're going to head over to search again and type in file explorer options. Click on it. And now you want to click on the view tab. And now you want to make sure you have show hidden files, folders and drives selected. Select this and then click on OK. And then once you've done that and you've copied this, now on the left hand side, you want to click on this PC, which will then take us to here. Now you want to find the drive where you have Windows installed on. It's going to have the Windows logo on it. That's how you know it's the correct one. So you want to click on that and then click on Windows. And you want to scroll down until you find system 32. Here is this folder right here. You want to double click on this. And then you just want to paste the file that you just copied right now. So you want to right click and then click on paste. Continue. Which will then paste this file into the system 32 folder. And now for the last step, you want to head over to search and type in CMD. Then you want to run it as administrator. And then click on yes. And once you're on this, you just want to copy and paste the code, which will be down below in the description. This right here, set ACL. It's going to be down below. You just want to copy this. So right click, copy. And now you can just paste it right here by doing control V on your keyboard, which will then paste it and then click on enter. Now, once you've done that, you just want to restart your computer and then the problem should be fixed. 